What's up everyone? Today I have a 5 Quetzal Cordo victory for you today and yes I did have to google how to pronounce that. It's the snakey boy that you see in the thumbnail and uh, yeah I think it's the second easiest 5 of a kind to get in the unicorn pack honestly and uh, I'll show you why later on but for now let's talk a little bit about its ability. It actually has a very interesting ability, it gives 2, 4 or 6 experience to a tier 3 or lower friend which is actually super synergistic in the unicorn pack because there are a lot of lower tier pets that you want to be leveling up and I think I'll be taking some of these throughout the run even on turn 3. You can see one of them is the wyvern as you can see right here I take one. And uh, Wyvern is super useful when it comes to 5 of a kind hunting because it gives you more options from leveling up and uh, that means you are more likely to find what you need from the level up. And I believe a level 3 Wyvern gives you 5 options in total from the level up selection so that is absolutely insane. You are basically 50% uh, likely to find what you need I believe, if not even more. But uh, yeah, for now we're just going to take the tier 2 units that benefit from leveling up. You can see I'm taking a Bigfoot and a Lucky Cat. In case you don't know, the Lucky Cat's ability is that whenever it levels up, it gains some stats and it also gives you some gold for the next turn. And uh, as for the Bigfoot, its ability is giving you a free roll whenever it faints. So basically like a better weasel that comes one tier earlier. So you really like having these pets uh, level up, getting them uh, statted up maybe. And uh, yeah, I think we'll be playing around with those quite a bit when we get to the late game as well, which is something I really like about the unicorn pack. The tier 1 and 2 units don't become irrelevant once you get to tier 5 and tier 6, which is super fun to see. For now though, we're hoping that we don't lose, but it seems like we will. It's actually just barely a draw, very lucky right there. I don't think we <laughs> we deserve to win right there, but whatever the case we drew. We level up into a Cyclops, which is one of the pets that we really want to see when we are going for a level up build. Big thanks to the Wyvern for giving us multiple selections and even once again getting us another Cyclops on the team. In case you don't know what the Cyclops does, whenever you level up a pet it gives it plus 1 experience and plus 2 mana. Mana I don't believe is going to play a big role, just think of it as dealing uh, the mana's equivalent amount as damage whenever your unit faints. But the experience that the Cyclops gives is actually going to come in pretty clutch. Because it's going to get us multiple level ups and uh, we are going to see multiple tier 6 units because of the wyvern. So I think that's a pretty nasty combo, it just allows you to have a tier 6 shop like 2 turns earlier and you can maybe even get an entire uh, tier 6 team on turn 9. I haven't experimented with that yet but it seems kind of likely considering the amount of uh, gold that you generate and the amount of experience that you can gain. Here we are going to set up for a level up on turn 9. We have the Cyclops prepared, we are hoping to find a lucky cat as well, sadly we didn't. But I think with a single level up just because we have the wyvern we are very likely to find what we need regardless so I think we should be good. For now we are just going to barely draw which is actually what we want because we are going for a tier 6 5 of a kind and we want some time to set up. Uh, I should probably level up right here and I indeed I do. And we do find the first Quetzal Cold over the video. That's kind of difficult to pronounce actually, I, I might just call it a snake from now on until the end of the video. But uh, we actually do get another level up in the Lucky Cat which is super nice. And we get a team spirit out of it. We also get another snake but I think I decide to get the team spirit instead. And uh, this is the first time I have bought this unit. So uh, as I told you in the beginning the snake gives plus 2 experience to the uh, tier 3 or below units. You saw right there that it gave 2 experience to the wyvern. And the team spirit gives plus 1 plus 2 whenever a friendly pet levels up. So kind of like a combination of the clownfish plus the shoebill, which uh, I think is pretty nice. 
and especially when you combine it with the snake it gives you a lot of stats when you level up. We are very lucky to get it up to level 3 in big part thanks to the Cyclops. Unfortunately the second level up did not result in another snake which is kinda sad. But uh, I think we'll be good. The snake is going to give us yet another level up on either the Lucky Cat or the Wyvern. So we will have a big selection of uh, tier 6 pets that we can pick from. And indeed, I, I don't know if you saw that in that split second, but we did throw into yet another snake. So we are going to be very happy to take it next turn. Uh, the un only downside of this build is that you actually have to cycle tier 2 or tier 3 units every single turn just to get the benefit of the scaling from the team spirit. I think Cyclops will go just because the snake is basically a better uh, Cyclops when it comes to tier 2 and tier 3 units. So yeah, we're going to sell the Cyclops, picking up the snake. Very luckily we have a Lucky Cat Frozen, so we're uh, able to actually take that on the team uh, at the end of the turn. First let us level up the lucky cat with, that we do have. Unfortunately does not result in an extra snake but I think we'll be fine. Especially with the wyvern on the team we still have 5 turns left to go and we'll be getting multiple level ups each turn so we are very likely to find multiple snakes. But uh, as it turns out we don't even need it because we just roll into double snake naturally so we end up selling the wyvern. We are going to start actually leveling up the snakes, not that it really matters but w once again please remember that a level up is going to give us plus 3 plus 6 to the entire team thanks to the team spirit. So level ups mean stats for us at this point and nothing else. Which uh, is actually very good, we do want the stats, the uh, Quetzal Kodo doesn't really have a useful in battle ability so it's going to be very useful for us to have 4 statted up Quetzal Kodos if at all possible. Here we find a level up on one of them, so plus 3 plus 6 to the entire team once again. The snake that I have frozen in the shop is going to remain in there just because we want to be cycling tier 2 and tier 3 units still. I'm looking for a Bigfoot or a Lucky Cat currently because I think those two are the best selections that you can possibly have. When it comes to gold generation at least they generate uh, 3 gold each when they are leveled up to level 3 so that is going to be super useful. Unfortunately though it seems like we won't be able to find it so instead we are going to take this brain cramp in the shop which uh, doesn't have any gold generating abilities but it's going to be useful because it's basically like an ox. It jumps to the front whenever there's an empty front space and it gains melanin to attack. So uh, yeah whenever you get it especially with high stats it's super useful to have. And thankfully it does let us clear pretty easily there even though I don't think we actually needed that. But uh, yeah another turn passes we are still looking for the final snake. We are still looking for a lucky cat as well and thankfully we do find it so we don't even have to keep rolling excessively for it. The only thing that we need right now is the final snake. I even freeze a Bigfoot just because we still have a lot of wins left to go and uh, I'll be very thankful to have a good unit that I can slot in instead of this lucky cat. And you can see the, the stat generation on this team is kinda crazy. I bought this base stats lucky cat and its stats are now in the 30s and it's going to basically solo the entire enemy team. Absolutely ridiculous. I know it's in part because uh, the player pool doesn't know how to scale yet uh, but uh, it's still pretty fun to see that a unit you just bought with 3 gold on your previous turn is able to solo the entire enemy team like that. We are going to take a pretzel. This was uh, the cornucopia that I purchased by the way. Its ability is that you get to discover two foods from all other packs. As you can see here we find popcorn from the custom pack pool and tomato from the uh, golden pack. So we get to pick up a uh, tomato right there. I think that's going to be more useful than the uh, popcorn at least. 
So yeah, we are going to pick up a Bigfoot, still hoping to see the final snake. It hasn't appeared in the shop yet, but I think from this level up we are kinda likely to get one. And uh, it did that we do, we do find it frozen in the end of the turn. So yeah, we are going to have a few day destroying enemy teams. You can see a pretty funny archetype right here, a jumping ahead uh, archetype with a minotaur that is scaling up, but of course when you have a three basically 50-50 units it's no uh, match for them to defeat us and I believe this is going to be the final turn. I'm going to keep the team spirit for just a little bit longer in case we get a level up because that is another plus three plus six to the entire enemy team. We're just hoping for either a chocolate or a snake in the shop and if we don't get it we'll just have to concede the fact that we don't get the extra stats and sell it. But thankfully we don't have to do that, we do get the extra stats and we are going to transition into the 5 of kind. So yeah, this is going to be the build for today, I really hope you enjoyed it, this was super fun to run. And uh, if you did enjoy, I hope that you like, sub, do all the generic stuff and I'll talk to you next time, take care.